Hey there. So today I'm just going to pick up another session in the devlog here and just show you what I've been working on. Haven't had a whole lot done. There's been a lot of uh, summer chores and things to do. But I'm going to switch over here to the uh, screen capture and show you where we're at. So we left off at Michael's camp and I had showed you the the map I had made for the tutorial area. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to sh go through the whole quest thing, but basically Mike asked you to go kill some trees here. I have my axe equipped. I'm going to come over here to this tree, chop it down. It goes away and you can see it drops some poplar wood. So I'm going to loot that poplar wood. And now that I have poplar in my possession, I can come way down here. To this broken dock. And there's a boat. And I can hop on this boat. I, uh, there we go and then it lets me go and come over to another landmass or another island I'm gonna have to change the, um, the time frame on that but then if I wander up here I can see there's a sign which I've just left as new event right now but if I come over here and click on it welcome to new hope population growing Basically just a nice little sign to let me know where I'm at. Now if I didn't have that poplar, I couldn't have got on the that boat to cross over to this other island. And I'm going to try and figure something out for the transitions in between. I haven't done that yet. So over here what we got is the temple. We'll come back to that in a minute. I'm just going to run up to the town first here. And there'll be little quest things to do outside around the town, the immediate area. Like most uh, online RPGs, you'll have some little, I don't know, gather some critters or whatever, whatever type stuff. So now here we are in the town. And I don't have much done in the town, but what I do have is I've got these barricades set up. Can't leave the town, you bump into them. And... First thing we'll do is we'll walk over here, and there's the there's the town well, so you get a fresh water supply. Then over here there will be a tavern, but I don't have it yet. That's probably going to be in the next next episode. I'll probably have the tavern in, but here we'll come up here to the marketplace, and I'll start over here on this side. So here we got like the food court area, so a little little bench and table area. There will be a person here to talk to, and you can buy uh, basic food type provisions off them. Here you've got the um, potion shop, so you'll be able to buy potions and salves and stuff here. Over here you've got the um, herbologist stuff so what you've got is all the plants and let me just see if I can zoom in a little bit here hold on settings video now this is going to move from zone to zone in this mode but that's okay I just wanted to get you a better view of what we're dealing with here so there we got the food and stuff all set up a little cookery a little table to sit at so you can get your food there Here's your potion and elixir making place. Oh, I'm missing a shadow there. I gotta fix that. Um, here's your herbologist, all your herbs and things that you can collect and sell or buy. And over here, we got the blacksmith shop. Now it's not quite finished. I'm gonna put. Oh, I'm missing a chunk there. I see. I gotta fix that. I'm um, going to put some, I don't know, some swords or tools or something there. I put some sword racks up, a little bellows, some coal. If I walk up here, 
you can see there's more coal, a couple of benches. Over here there's some wood. A few different anvils all set up. And then you'll I'll come over here and pretty much right here where I'm standing will be the blacksmith to talk to. But that's about all for that. I'm going to zoom out here. Zoom back out again. Like I said, there'd be the pub down here. Then if I can just... I've left this open here and you'll be able to go around the other end too. Uh, I haven't built the maps for it yet, but there'll be uh, like houses here and maybe guild buildings or something so that you can come into later on for later quests after you've gone around the different areas of the map and stuff. But I'm working on the stuff to start the adventures, right? So that's why this area. So we'll come back out past the barriers here. And again, there's the barriers to the entrance of the town. Now I'm just going to pop, before we go into the temple, I'm just going to pop up here. Or not the temple, the, uh, what is it? The teleportation. And I just want to show you what I've kind of been working on here. So I just quickly slapped this map as an extra in here to experiment with. And what I'm experimenting with is this waterfall. You can see how I've got it transparent. It's an animation. So I can I haven't set up any blocking or nothing. I can't walk behind it or anything. Um, but what I have done is I've set it up just to play around with the art to make sure that I have a decent animation. I didn't want to use, I didn't like the animation for waterfalls that comes in the intersect engine. But if you can see here the moving water these little areas moving around here. I used uh, the waterfall animation just to make the water ripples and stuff. And you can see little little things that I did on my tile sheets. Um, resources, tile sets, and where's water? Water, water, water. It's going to open in credit and I'm just going to drag it over on the screen so you can see. So that's these areas here. Uh, they're just a little different shapes and stuff in order to make water flow in different ways uh, and this is this section's all transparent so it sits on top of this and I've done that for all the different all the different waters but that's my tile set for that and I might as well show you my one of my tile sets for the town here and just so you know I spent a couple hours this morning putting this tile set together for the town and um, then a land tile set. I don't know if I showed you one, but I'll show you the snow, this snow ground tile set. So this is 256 by, let me just go to this, 256 by 256 grid out. These taper sideways, taper from the center, uh, taper to the outside, smaller oval, smaller round, um, four edges tapered, two edges tapered, side tapered. And with that, I could pretty much do between the ground, the water, and the three mask layers, I can pretty much do what I need to do to paint the ground. It's not perfect. It is still limited to a tile system and the amount of layers that I have. But that's how I'm able to print, uh, do a bunch of these different shapes and stuff and not make it look so uh, Super Nintendo-ish. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that's that water. I wanted to show you that. And now I'm going to go down and show you the temple. Well, I'm curious. I just want to see something. I don't know. Am I going to shadow over top of that? I probably will. Yeah, I will. Okay. So yeah, you could change animations. This is just an animation. And you could change behind the player, in front of the player, or um, on the same level as the player. And I think I've got this that is at the same level of the player. But if I had it in front of the player, which, you know what? I'm going to do that right now just to show you. And just a quick log out. Exit. I am just going to quickly do that because it's pretty easy to do that and not really lose much time. I'm just going to go into the editor here. And besides, I want to see how that looks. Uh, 
All right, there's the last area I was on. Let me go to my grid, map editor, and I want to go to attributes and animation. No. here so what do I want to do oh maybe I can't set I thought I would be able to set the layer I guess I could set it as a Z dimension can you no can't. Hmm. So I could set it as an event though. So what I could do is I could go um, over to events and instead of just playing the animation, I could double click on the map. Then I can select the animation, waterfall one. And I can have it no movement. No, actually I can't. That'll run it that way. Nope, I guess I can't do it. All right. Well. It's too bad. It would have been nice if I could have done that on another level. But I cannot, so. I'll just save that as it is. And we'll go back into the client. And sorry about that. I wasted a little bit of your time on that one. I thought I could flip that between uh, levels on that animation and bring it forward so the player could walk behind it. But obviously not. Um... All right, back to showing you what I've done. So now we're going to walk down. Pretty happy with that, though. It matches up to my uh, game, just game style pretty good. We're just going to run back down here to the temple. Now, I haven't set up any conditions, but basically the teleport uh, chamber here Quickly run behind it. And we're going to just come down this way. And then we're going to hit this and we're going to. There we go, we're in here. So now for the teleport chamber. Continue. We get to choose where we want to teleport to. Okay, so New Hope is just where we're at. So we'll just go to this one, Merc Glade. And so now I got a, a just a I just made a one map area of all these just to give myself a, a spot to start. And you can see I use that animation technique again on the glade here, where I've got a little bit of water bubbling away and I've got some nice swampy ground. So now I'm going to just teleport back. And we're going to go to New Hope. Uh, what one was it? W1. Sure, V0. Okay. It's not exactly where I wanted to go, but it's close enough. think I'm just going to walk down here to this beach so I can get my map identifier here okay Y0 is what I'm looking for 
make it quicker the next time around here. Transfer to an area. Now we'll go from Merck Glade to Grand Peak. And there we are in a snowy area. Um, basically just snowy grass area. Nothing to see here yet, of course. It's just a placeholder spot. Okay. Then we're just going to run back into the temple and, and I'll show you the barons. And there we are, just a desert area with a bit of a cobble path that'll lead into the into the oasis. And there we have it. And that's where I'll log out. And that's it. So that's where I've gotten to. Um, there was a bunch of work behind the scenes, of course, building the tile sets and getting things together. Um, yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next one. I hope to have interaction with the vendors set up and maybe one or two quests uh, outside the city or some critters to fight or something. We'll see. But basically, I'll see you next week. Have a good one.